Hi, I'm Arius. Today, we're going to talk about something that's not only important for a warrior's weapon, but is also important for a warrior's stomach. But before that, I'd like to bring you a word from our sponsor, Bond of Blade. Are you tired of wasting your hard-earned gold on broken gear? Are your stacks of septum sliding into oblivion while you slice away endlessly on that mega lich? Don't let that broken sword of the inferno suck away your sacks of sapphires and costly repairs. You don't need an elevator to reach the basement of the abyss. You need Bond of Blade. It's like having a blacksmith in a bottle. This revolutionary product developed by a retired arena champion turned alchemist is changing the game for warriors all across Tamriel. Simply pour a proprietary blend of liquid tempering material over your broken slashing or cleaving weapon and wait 30 seconds. Like Elven Magic, it'll be restored and renewed to that fresh off the forge luster. Here's what some of our customers are saying about Bond of Blade. Before using Bond of Blade, I was losing my scales in expensive trips to the blacksmith. Now, let's just think twice before floating in my direction and my bank account is looking majestic. But I do miss Lord. Says Patharthi pays with cash. Those nasty Spriggans used to kick me in the axe. Now I'm knee deep in lumber. Thank you, Bond of Blade. That's from Ragnar Rocknroll. Order your bottle of Bond of Blade today for the low price of only 3,995 septums. If you order now, we'll include an extra bottle absolutely free. You just pay for shipping. As a special offer, we're giving our first 100 customers a jar of Seal Shield, filled with repair kit, and a flask of Minda Mace repair cream specially formulated for bashing weapons. This offer won't last, and the demand is high. Supplies are limited, so grab that tunnel scroll and order today. Bond of Blade. It's like having a blacksmith in a box. Repairs not guaranteed to last more than 48 hours. May not work in all types of dragon boats. Read instructions before using and wear the recommended personal protective equipment. P.P.E. Shout out of the week goes out to Vitaly Otelli. Thank you for supporting the channel, my friend. Now you too have one more subscriber. And now... From the cookbook of Sage Spoon, Daedra Hearts. They are primarily used for tempering Daedric weapons, but did you know that they're also a highly nutritious and tasty addition to an active warrior's diet? Don't get grossed out, here are a few interesting facts. A single Daedra Heart contains twice as much omega-3 fatty acids as hist carp, salmon, and spotterfish. They're also high in dietary fiber and contain more nutrients than a pot of beef stew or elsewherian fondue. Daedra hearts are best when boiled, first to remove toxins and tenderize the innermost chambers. They make delicious, savory breakfast dishes served sliced over bread or porridge. Some consider removing the hearts of Dramora or other Daedric species to be inhumane. However, most Daedra do not actually need a heart to survive and will regrow new hearts in about 48 hours with adequate rest. Some folks have unsuccessfully attempted to farm Daedra hearts or make contracts with Dramora for their own hearts. A few have even tried to marry or otherwise take them as partners. All known instances of these have had disastrous and even tragic results. This is mainly due to the Dramora's poor communication skills and unpredictable temperament. Both male and female Dramora are known to be notoriously promiscuous and have a reputation for sacrificially murdering their sleeping spouses. It is for this reason alchemists, blacksmiths, enchanters, and necromancers agree that Dramora do not make good companions and caution against taking them as mates. It is best to incapacitate a Dramora before removing the heart and leaving a resist frost potion nearby if you want to avoid permanently damaging or destroying the being entirely. It is also best to take them in small quantities to avoid attracting more Dramora as they are highly protective of each other and seem to know when other members of their species are being threatened. And that's it! Thanks to the knowledge of Sage Spoon, we know that Dramora hearts are not just for warriors' weapons, they're also for a warrior's stomach. My name is Arius, and I play games, and sometimes eat Daedric hearts. Cheers!